Right, so now you, this is really good to make me accountable to this question. Um, earlier I was just rambling about whether or not it's the, the, how much language is required to talk about, you know, to surround or orient the language of, of the work itself. And, then, and what language is needed, and, and why, why make insistences about certain things, the orientation of the work, whether it hangs from the ceiling or comes off the wall, those sorts of things. A couple of things, you know, without sounding now, I'm going to try and jettison being so, so deadly earnest and tell you what I like. Um, I like to think of the work as a players, you know, and you, you arrange them and there's a drama and it's often an improvised drama and in they go and you put them in different kinds of situations. And, and in that sense they fall into different kinds of types, they react to each other, they react to space. All that stuff that everybody knows you have to consider. Um, I guess in terms of threshold things I would like to hang on to, one is still, I like in painting the, the tradition of the painting as a contemplative object on a wall still is important to me. Even with the hanging work, that's something I would like to play off of. So it's still important that that's there. Um, in that sense, orientation is still important. I mean, you build up however many hundreds of hours or tens of hours of seeing with a picture. And I think there is something about the seeing and the being seen relationship we have with the painting, where you momentarily imagine the painting is seeing you or witnessing you, looking back at you. I, I'm, it's not as if I would never be open to the word being reoriented, but there's an uncertainty about how that orientation plays outside of the way I know I've been seen by it and it's seen me. So in terms of trying to kind of have a solidarity with this person I'm imagining would want to see the work, which is always an unfathomable thing. Um, maybe. Uh, to a certain extent, that is, it becomes a threshold for me, a, a point, a testing point, a weighing point. Uh, a title is usually something that actually is almost more like a working name, a nickname. It comes and goes, and in the end it's a little vector that you just string the work along. Not like hanging at a certain... Well, it's just like, like working in space. It's a form of framing, I think. The works usually have many titles while working on them. And I'll provide one example, because it would be good and it indulges me to talk about it. Uh, there is one work in particular, a sort of visceral bundle of shapes at the bottom, uh, which has two titles, uh, 1,000 Hours Later and The Pulmonary Artery. And 1,000 Hours Later is a reference to a wonderful film by Wong Kar Wai, 2046, where there's a writer. It's also an unrequited love story, and it's also about writing and the challenges of writing and fantasy. And there's the writer has the pen or the pencil poised over this page. And there's a little moment and it says 10 hours later, and then later in the film, 100 hours later, and then 1,000 hours later. And time, the fluidity of time plays such a huge role in the film. That the metaphor was always very meaningful to me, and it was begun actually as a letter, the drawing that fueled that painting was a kind of mental letter to a friend whom I hadn't seen in a long time, and I was interested in the way in which time is eli very elastic in the confines of friendship, you know. So that was sort of part of the title. The other title relates to another friend, uh, and that was a friend of mine who had been having troubles with her heart, and particularly the pulmonary artery, and was talking about the pulmonary artery because she began to study it in response to her heart problems. And when she looked at the work, she said, oh, this really looks like this discussion of the artery. And that was one of those strange moments when choices, physical choices for work, fall into consequence, which I think they almost always do via relationship. Um, in this case, all along I've been working with red twist and blue twist, and it was just, of course, old blood and new blood. I hadn't thought about it in those terms at all. It was something that was just physically pleasurable to work with, which is usually often a cue for me. So having it fall into a connection of friendship and relationship, a correspondence, a, no a note, a letter, is a way that the work could be consequential as an intimate thing. And once it does that, there's some chance it might be more than an intimate thing or might become a social thing. Since the title.